Thank you, Chairman. Uh, I'm glad to be here today. Uh, thank you for the organizing committee to invite me to be here. Uh, will you wait a bit uh, because the computer is not good condition? Today, I would like to talk about the plant hopper problems because the plant hopper is the most serious pest in rice production. So, just the, the talk uh, the, about the plant hopper, just the introduction of the plant hopper and the uh, present status of the BPH genome study. And I would like to introduce one or two topics about the plant hopper uh, studies. The, this is the damage of the hopper burn that I have encountered in Western Japan. Um, okay. The plant hopper, this is the mouse part of the plant hopper. The stylet, stylet, just the needle-like structure, they in, uh, suck the, into the rice plant and the suck the juice. It caused the hopper burn. And the, that is can I have? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, please continue. Uh, uh, uh. The stylet seeds, that is the marking that when the plant hopper suck the rice plant, they leave the uh, marks of the sucking on the rice plant. The plant hopper distribute in South Asian countries and it flies a long distance. Uh, on the East China Sea, I was in the, on the East China Sea on ASEP, we can collect plant hoppers using just a simple net. So a lot of plant hopper flies over the East China Sea, and it flies for long distance from China to Japan, Korea, and Northern China. And the important is, the southern part of China and Indochina Peninsula, a lot of plant hopper lives all the, uh, from summer to winter. So they fly for long distance in early summer. That population become the source of the damage in the northern part of Japan, Korea, and northern China. This is the mitochondrial data that just a carry, uh, haplotype we sequenced but the, the diversity is very low. The haplotype variation is very low. For example, the white color is the same sequence. That means the variation of a plant hopper is very low, and probably they share the, uh, the same gene pool. That means if we have a resistant population for rice plant, uh, rice plant or the insecticide resistance, it is the serious problem for us because they share the gene pool and it flies long distance. And we uh, study the genome because uh, for the physiology and ecology and some other, ends, some other studies, the important base is the genome, genome study we now study. And China group also study, we collaborate partly. And plant hopper has 30 chromosomes and XY type 6 determination system. And the size, unfortunately, big. The, the size of Drosophila, there, but in the case of Nirapalpata lugans, 1.2 gigabase. So, genome project, this is data from the NCBI. So, the data, the, the value is not exactly the uh, same data, just the data from the NCBI, it tells the BPH is rather big size among insects. They have a lot of repetitive sequences. And this is the outline of the construction of BPH gen. We did Illumina uh, sequencing and 454 PIRA sequencing and we combined to make contacts and scaffolds, but still not in good condition. Uh, this is the, the outline of the recent assembly. Uh, still 67% will be uh, was covered because of many of the repetitive sequences. And 
we also building a BPH uh, unigenes, uh, RNA seq sequence, RNA seq reads 23,000 uh, sequences. The, these sequences, uh, it has a homology to the insect, for example, Tribolium, the beetles, Acrisosphum pisum, aphid, and human laos. And no homology, yes, also has in red color. And this is the ocelog uh, uh, analysis. So some specific BPH spe uh, sequences and some are specific for aphid and BPH, that is the sucking insects. So it, it, it might have a special uh, genes for sucking and for their uh, life cycle. Okay, these data is now deposited in the databases. EST database is now open. Uh, the people can access to through the internet. The genome database is uh, not, not yet, but soon it will be released. Uh, in China group, Hanzhou, Chejian University also has a very nice data that is supported by Beijing Genomics. And uh, we are now uh, collaborating with them, so their nice data will be uh, released soon. At the moment, we have this, uh, this sequence, draft genome sequence, and available, the protein coding gene information. This is useful for the uh, BPH uh, uh, scientist. Uh, the BPH scientist uh, can access this information. And little, still we do not have uh, any more information. For example, the RNA is non-coding RNA, so we should have to have a lot of works. Uh, after the draft genome sequence, it will be uh, progressed. And the BPH, unfortunately, we, ha we do not have a transgenic technique because of uh, the very tiny fragile eggs. It is uh, not easy to make uh, transgenic insects. Uh, instead, we have a very nice system, RNAi. So the RNAi in insect, some species is very easy for RNAi experiment. Some are very difficult. Luckily, the BPH, the RNAi work, works very nice. This is the example of a Lacase 2 gene. Lacase 2 gene works for cuticle tanning and coloration. And this is the, uh, the injected double-strand RNA of Lacase 2 gene. The right, you know, the right male still in white after ecdysis. So, the coloration and the tanning was prohibit, inhibited by the double-stranded RNA. And the RNA, messenger RNA level, quite low. Very, uh, very low this is. Uh, for example, uh, the, the right data shows the log scale of the messenger RNA level. So it decreased. And we could have uh, uh, easily the phenotypes in some insects. And this is, uh, we think, the uh, key study area in BPH, rice interaction uh, between the rice, the interaction, and insect side problem, and the micro problem, because this species transmit virus, virus disease of plant, and this species has also symbiont a lot of microorganisms they have. It is very interesting, and it is very useful for, to know the physiology of this species and to control these insects. Just today, I would like to uh, introduce two topics, just the resistance of insecticides and the BPH virulence. Just uh, uh, the work we, we have been done, just I would like to introduce. This species, uh, BPH, was serious pest in 1990 and, and before 1982. But there are very nice insecticides have developed. That is neonicotinoid uh, insecticides. 
the neonicotinoid insecticide completely uh, suppressed the population of BPH. And around 20,000, we do not see the BPH population. The, however, 20, 2005, the BPH outbreak has occurred in South Asian countries, in, in Japan, Korea, and Northern China. That was the big problem. After that, the population increased, and we see mostly every year the outbreak of BPH. The neonicotinoid was very nice uh, insecticide, but at, at present, we see the resistant population in the field. This is the imidacloprid resistance. Imidacloprid is uh, one of the representative insecticides in uh, neonicotinoid. And the resistance level, just the, the right column, uh, resistance range show very high uh, level, LD50 microgram per gram. So usually the neonicotinoid imidacloprid should work 0.1 but it doesn't work even at that such high concentration of the imidacloprid. Pesticide resistance is usually explained by these mechanisms. First, pesticide entry, uh, and another one, the mutation of target molecules, because insecticides attack the target molecules. If the target molecule mutate and the structure change, Agricultural chemicals cannot contact, cannot attack the uh, molecules. And the third mechanism is elevated activation of detoxification enzyme, because enzyme digest the agricultural chemicals. If the high level of detoxification enzyme the, the insect has, it, it is become the resistance. So. Uh, we try to find the present imidacloprid resistance. What is the mechanism of these? And in the case of pesticide entry, is not so a high level, high level of uh, resistance. So probably the mechanism would be uh, the target molecule mutation or enzyme activity. In the case of uh, neonicotinoid, the target molecule is nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. So we studied the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, and the detoxification enzyme is P450, P450 enzyme. So we studied the P450. First, the neonicotinoid, uh, neonicotinic acetylcholine receptor, the insect has more than 10. In the case of uh, BPH, it has 12 subunits. All subunits we uh, sequenced from susceptible strain, resistant strain, but we cannot find the common specific mutation in the neonicotinoid, neonicotinic subunits. And the left, left hand, le left side, uh, this is the binding assay of imidacloprid. Radioisotope imidacloprid binds to the membrane fraction. If the, the binding activity become low, it means resistance. But this data shows not so different. It ca we cannot explain the high level of resistance. So probably at moment we think in the field population, the uh, uh, molecule uh, mutation is not occurred. In the laboratory, it is reported that the mutation in the target molecule has occurred. So uh, the uh, we studied P450 using microarray analysis. So uh, the microarray analysis, the strains alpha alpha S, that that is the combination uh, resistance strain and susceptible strain, and we treated acetone or imidacloprid because imidacloprid uh, sometimes induce the res uh, induce the uh, enzyme activity. And the other CYP6ER1, CYP6AY1, things like that, that is the name of gene. So all, all the combination shown here, CYP6ER1 shows high uh, activity, high activity of the detoxification. 
So we at the moment believe the CYP6E1 is the uh, primary cause of the resistance, uh, that this uh, high level of uh, activity would be uh, the, the resistance mechanism, we believe. And e European uh, scientists also reported this one. And the same uh, gene would be uh, related to the resistance. So the problem is what cause, uh, what, uh, what mechanism uh, is related, is involved in the high level of these genes. So the people study the, the mechanism of the high resistance level, high uh, expression level of this gene. And the next topics, final topics, is just I would like to uh, introduce about the feeding and gene expression. Uh, rice, uh, the interaction between rice and the plant hopper, important is the rice, uh, plant hopper resistant uh, variety of rice. But uh, plant hopper sometimes co uh, develop the virulent strain against that resistance plant, rice plant. So what is the virulence of the plant hopper we would like to know? Uh, this is an uh, important problem but difficult problem. So we, uh, using the microarray, the, we tested the Hennedy excretion. So the, if the virulent strain uh, excretes uh, excrete a lot of honeydew, even on the resistance rice variety. The susceptible BPH cannot get uh, the, uh, the plant juice and they do not excrete honeydew. The, the, they do not deposit a lot. So we can, uh, we can uh, separate the virulent strain and susceptible strain uh, using this kind of experiment. And and the gene expression level we tested, but the problem is the e effect of resistance lies and effect of non-feeding we see. I, I mean, when the, we put the insects onto the rice plant, resistance rice plant, they don't eat, they don't feed, so that they starve. So the, uh, uh, the expression profile, it, uh, it is a, a composite data of effect of rice plants and effect of non-feeding. And we uh, study there, so the microarray analysis uh, of these three uh, uh, combinations. First one is sucking versus stuffed, and another one is big feeder versus small feeder, and after the big feeder and the small feeder, after the, on the uh, susceptible uh, rise. So we uh, carefully um, compared these data and what is the starved uh, effect? What is the uh, resistant strains effect? And what is the virulent, what sort of the feature the virulent strain has, thing like that. This is the, uh, the data of the starvation. So the insects show, the BPH show the starvation date, starvation very closely, uh, very similar to the mammals and some other insects. They show glucogenesis, gluconeogenesis, and beta oxidation. This, uh, this species clearly show the starvation effect. So we know the starvation effect, and we subtract the starvation effect from the data of uh, 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 resistant strains data. And on the feeding, we see a lot of uh, high level of uh, gene expression and a low level of gene expression of sugar transporter. Probably feeding and sugar transporter uh, expression is closely related. So the, these are some of the uh, sugar transporter genes in BPH. They have a lot of more uh, uh, genes. So in the case of uh, GLUT1, GLUT6, and GLUT9, and in case of GLUT6, GLUT this uh, would be this gene uh, is upregulated when they feed ASD9, the resistant last variety of BPH. So we now study the function of these transporter genes. Uh, NL, 
NLGLT1, and this uh, slide shows NLGLT6. NLGLT1 is reported fast in England. Uh, that is the glucose transporter. NLT, uh, NLGLT6, that is fructose transporter. We uh, express that in the Xenopus oocyte expression system. So uh, the NLGLT6 incorporates the fractals and some part, of, some some of the glucose. So the insect at the moment doesn't have the sucrose sucrose uh, transporter, I think. So the sucrose should be uh, divided into glucose and fractals. And the glucose and fractals transporter is important in in BPH. So uh, that these are uh, sucrose. Oh no, sorry. Glucose transporter, fractal transporter in the meat gut and in other parts, it is important for the feeding and the nutrition of the BPH. And this is the final slide, just the summary of the BPH virulency in both the gene, we believe at the moment. Still, we do not have uh, concrete data, but the uh, microarray data shows uh, these upregulated in virulent group, P450 genes and certain protein genes uh, might be involved in uh, virulence. And downregulated gene, we have only the protease inhibitors. So uh, these genes are, we believe at the moment, the BPH virulence. And now, uh, in today's concurrent session in the afternoon, the, also the, this kind of work by positional cloning and mapping study also will be uh, carrying on. So maybe these data and our data and sequencing data of the BPH will be uh, promote this kind of work, I believe. This is the acknowledgement. So uh, in NIAS group and uh, NARO uh, Agriculture, Kyushu Okinawa Agriculture Experiment Station, Shimane University, and Nissan Chemical Industries. Uh, I had uh, help and collaboration with them. And also, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, help in Asian countries, scientists. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Noda. Uh, to share with us about the uh, panhopper resistance in rice.